you, Louise. Uh, so I'm Francois Streff, architect, uh, working um, in a local administration called Par Regional Natural Park of the Marshes of Cotentin and Bessin, so shortly named PNRMCB in our project. Um, so I'm an architect working mostly on building heritage and co heritage um, and now involved in new, new cop buildings. So I will talk to you about uh, this European funded project um, called COBOGE, a, a very complicated name or acronym, uh, COB, Boge in French. So you can see how many hours we spend to find this, this name. Um, uh, oh, it works. Okay. Um, so, what is uh, this project about? It's about COB and why we decided to um, to, to work uh, on COB building. Um, well, the first uh, common statement uh, we shared within the partners. So, uh, so, sorry, I forget to to name all the partners. So, it's a project, European project with um, uh, Ibukai uh, um, for the English partners. Ibukai, uh, University of Plymouth. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> Yeah, and uh, Hudson Architects now we, we, which uh, will join us uh, for the next uh, phase of Cobosh and for the French part we've got uh, the ESITC, a School of Engineer, Engineering Caen, uh, the University of Caen and um, the PNR MCB. Uh, so why we pay attention to, attention to COB is because uh, we, um, we shared the, the statement that COB was uh, a little explored technique uh, in contemporary uh, architecture, um, whereas it's uh, present everywhere in, uh, in Europe and in the world, of course, but uh, in Europe, as you can see on this map, uh, where we can see all the building heritage, the earth building heritage, and uh, so in, in uh, dark brown, you can see here uh, where you can find COB uh, in, in Europe. So it's really a, a common technique. Um, if we see, sorry, I have to check the both computer. Uh, if you check uh, this map uh, done um, thanks to the diagnosis made uh, during the sale of properties in uh, in uh, England and Wales, I think um, you can see the, the importance of the presence of uh, Cobb uh, building in in, uh, in England. We don't have such uh, a database in France. Uh, but thanks to um, several in regional inventories, you can see there in the orange uh, on, on this map that COB is uh, present uh, in most of the west part of, of France and sometimes with uh, a very uh, huge density. Uh, for example, in our regional park, some parishes, it's more than 80% uh, of the building a richage which is built with COB. So it's uh, a very traditional and uh, um, very present uh, building uh, heritage te techniques. Um, so why be interested in COB again? Um, if we look at uh, the, the actual uh, uh, earth production and, and in our uh, region, um, well, finally, uh, several uh, contemporary uh, creations have been designed with Ramdas. It's the trendy technique for uh, most of the time, I will speak for French architects that I know better, uh, that are ignorant and uh, are f most of the time watered with uh, beautiful pictures, seen the brochure or uh, magazines. And so they try to imitate what they see in this magazine. But um, if we look at uh, our uh, rainy climate in Normandy, and I, uh, I'm afraid that yours is not quite better. Um, well, you can see that um, we have huge difficulties on construct building sites, and you, you mentioned that with this, uh, this building also, and we have seen that such pictures with lots of protection, lots of collapse during the building process, and such, such thing like that. So. Um, we thought with the partner that COB could be 
a better a better technique a wet technique which seemed more appropriate uh, in our latitude um, but another factor comes uh, into the game today it's the thermal uh, properties of the the new building and the question of the environmental uh, impact on building so notoriously earth building is uh, is considered comfortable and insulating but uh, as we can see on this uh, on these pictures of uh, of a cob uh, dwellings uh, in uh, devon i think um, you can see that um, uh, uh, on the right side you can see the the, the cob part of the building which seems to be uh, quite uh, uh, as efficient as um, the uh, gravity walls that you can see on the left uh, side with uh, insulation, so modern uh, cavity walls. So Cobb seems to be as good as uh, these actual uh, techniques or recent techniques. But it's probably not, so it's not so bad, but it's not enough uh, today to answer the, the French and UK uh, thermal regulations. So uh, the partners of this project decided that, um, and this project and this hypothesis that we, we have set ourselves, we must be able to uh, uh, optimize the earth and fiber uh, mixture uh, so that it allows us to build sufficiently resistant uh, and sufficiently uh, insulating. And um, that the optimization of the implementation um, must allow us to make the, um, the techniques less painful uh, and less expensive. So, what we decided to, um, to do and the, the methodology uh, that we uh, decided to, uh, to use um, was to undertake and uh, study different uh, fibers that can mechanically uh, and thermally influence the earth fiber mixture. Uh, and to study different type of soil representing the variety uh, of soil encountered uh, in Normandy and, uh, and in UK. So we have decided to supply uh, six English soil, six French soil, quite different. Um, so at least, uh, um, sorry, uh, so uh, um, 12 uh, contrasted soil uh, with more or less clay, more or less sun, more or less gravels uh, in it, so to have something very uh, large. Um, we also decided to uh, study several uh, fibers, uh, generating non-valued non co-products and having uh, little or no impact on the uh, environment, uh, and of course, we throw uh, at the current uh, reference traditional plants for uh, for cob. So those are the the fibers we uh, we had the idea to you to use sometimes, and we uh, we choose uh, four of them. So hemp, uh, hemp we have studied as a hemp row straw, and hemp as hemp sheave. Same thing for flax, the raw straw of flax and the, amp, the flax sheaves, um, the wheat straw and the reed uh, as a um, uh, natural material coming from, oops, uh, from, um, <laughs> uh, from the maintaining of natural area. Uh, so, sorry, I'm going too fast. Sorry. Um, we have tried to, um, at the very beginning of the project, to, to produce several blocks with different amount of fiber, different amount of water and, uh, uh, and uh, of soil. Uh, and we have crossed this measurement to, um, and test these first blocks that allow us to see that it was quite impossible to uh, finally uh, meet uh, this objective of one mix able to uh, insulate and uh, load um, the, 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 the roof, the floor, and so on. So we, uh, I'm going a little bit faster to the first result. So we have studied two different mixes, one for the load-bearing wall and one for the insulation. So that's one of the first results uh, we obtained. Uh, see that 
Finally, wheat straw is not the best fiber we can use in cob to have a, a, a very uh, high compressive strength. Flax and uh, hemp was probably bet are pr better, actually. Um, although the um, results on the insulation uh, show, show uh, that reed uh, and uh, an hemp sheaf was give us the better results. Just to show here uh, this small graph um, that uh, show where uh, all the results for in the insulative mixes are and wh where are the, um, the load-bearing um, thermal uh, properties of the, um, the, the very dense and uh, load-bearing mix are. Um, sorry. So we have made some uh, some calculation based on this first result to see uh, where we could. Uh, sorry, I'm going too fast. No, it's okay. Sorry. Uh, yeah, so something doesn't appear. Uh, sorry. Um, so um, we have made some calculation to see uh, if we used uh, the both uh, the dense cob and the light earth. Uh, earth what was the total resistance of the wall, and if we could meet uh, the actual uh, thermal regulation. So you can see here the U value uh, with a, um, um, a wall of uh, 30 centimeters thick of uh, dense cob and 30 centimeters thick of light earth. We could meet uh, the, 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 the actual uh, uh, requirement uh, of UK and French uh, thermal regulation. And we also have tried to see if um, using uh, a single uh, wall of 60 centimeter thick, using um, uh, a, a, a good mix of uh, um, uh, enough straw to 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 um, oh, sorry uh, to to have a, a sufficient density to uh, to to have a load bearing uh, capacity. We we had a, um, a U value that was twice twice as high. Um, we also uh, have made a curve that show that there was a, a, a link between the conductivity and uh, and of course the, the density and resistance of the of the wall. Um, I'm crying. <laughs> I go faster and I lose my way. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, so we, um, to obtain a good uh, insulating capacity, uh, it's necessary to increase considerably, considerably the proportion of fibers, which proportionally affect, of course, the, the, the carrying capacity. Um, so here you can see that um, to, um, yes, the, um, sorry. Um, I will check that after. It's okay. <laughs> I'm going uh, more on uh, the actual uh, results. Sorry, we will. Uh, I, you will have uh, access to all this uh, information on the website. I'm going more on what we are know uh, about uh, the, the the process. So we we uh, we have been able to prove that uh, with uh, uh, two separate mix. Uh, uh, built together, we were we were able to uh, meet the thermal regulation. So that's why we tried no, uh, after that to think about the way to build. So the calculation, the results in the lab allow us to see it's it's a, we can do that, but how we build it finally. So um, we have made some several experiments on uh, mixing uh, using formwork, uh, mixing uh, the traditional ways uh, we actually use for cob is use digger, tractor, and, and so on. We have test um, small uh, uh, new, uh, new um, sort of mixer, uh, uh, like a bucket here. We have tested also, uh, other um, Material used for concrete uh, to test several several ways to uh, to mix uh, the, the the flax and, um, and and the soil. We also have made a sort of inventory of the formwork used. Um, actually, so s different experiments made in Brittany in uh, in Normandy, uh, where we have uh, tried to use mesh formwork. Uh, for example, 
here in several uh, co-op buildings built in, uh, in, uh, in Normandy. And that gives us the idea to use uh, all this um, information uh, to make first experiment. Uh, here with uh, Becky Little in Les Grands Ateliers uh, near Lyon, we have tried the first one during a, a training course on co building. We have tried to build at the same time dense cob and light, light cob using uh, those uh, metallic mesh um, formwork. So the first test showed us that it was, there was a lot of deformation. I'm quite quite finished <laughs> um, it's hard to, to 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 summarize two years of project in 15 minutes <laughs> sorry uh, so we have uh, tried to um, we have seen that there was deformation so we have uh, make new tests uh, in our training center in uh, in the regional park and use of still use the, the, um, the formwork made with mesh metallic mesh uh, but using the soil uh, also studied in the labs, and we also tried to some make, make some experiment about uh, accelerating the drying process uh, using that sort of tube. Uh, moving them didn't really work actually, so we have to to go further on that uh, that topics. We have tried in Wexford last year to begin to uh, see what could be the details and how we could um, do that sort of details, a corner, a window, so that's come in, in place. So it's a new way to build, new way to implement, so we have to think about all those new details. We have made a, a, a small cut of this wall to see how it uh, works between the lights uh, and the dense uh, cob. Uh, Farini, we were really surprised about the, the, the really huge uh, connection between the two, uh, the two walls, and it's picked very well together. Um, now we try to um, implement uh, new walls, uh, try to make some measure, uh, measurement uh, on it to see how it dry um, between the two uh, material. And we are going uh, this summer to, thanks to the new, um, new phase of this project, where the, the European Union uh, accept recently that we could f uh, continue this work. So we will we'll continue for four, year, uh, four years project now, and we'll try to build real building, not just small sample of walls. So some, something we will build this summer to uh, try to uh, think about all these details, the connection and joint between the, the roof, uh, the floor, the windows and the walls. Uh, and that's the step we are now, so the, the plans are, are done and we, we start to build uh, with this, uh, this process. So I'm finished. I have close to finished. And of course, in this project, we, we will, uh, after those first uh, uh, real experiments, we will uh, try to uh, disseminate and train uh, architects, craftsmen to use this, uh, this process. So, um, um, well, that's finished. And if you're interested, you can, of course, uh, have a, a discussion with us uh, outside, and you can also sign an attendance sheet that we need as Ibukai for its project. Sorry? And the, and the feedback form. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you very much.